All right guys, 2020 is for sure getting worse as we go further. It's definitely here to stay for a while. We lost Kobe and Gianna Bryant, Nick Cordero, Hana Kimura, and the coronavirus happened and it seems like it's here to stay. George Floyd and the hashtag Black Lives Matters movement happened, and now another tragedy has hit the showbiz. Glee's Naya Rivera is missing and presumed dead after her four-year-old son was found alone in a boat at a lake in California. So you better hit the bell and the subscription button and stay with me to find out everything about Naya Rivera's case. Not a morning goes by without us hearing about a new tragedy happening in 2020. And now it seems like Glee's Naya Rivera is the next victim. According to the reports, Naya had gone to the lake Wednesday afternoon and rented a boat with her young child. According to Sheriff's Captain Eric Busho, both were seen going out on the lake together. Then, about three hours after they left the dock, another boater discovered a boat drifting with a child asleep on board. The authorities were notified and then began searching with the use of helicopters, drones, and dive teams. Cops found Naya's life vest on the boat and the child said that they went swimming but his mother did not come back to the boat. However, it's not clear how the child got back to the boat. It was just yesterday that she posted a picture with her son on Twitter. At the time that I'm preparing this video, nothing is clear but I really hope they find her and get her back to her child by the time this video is published. Naya has been through a lot in her life and we only know very little of that which is mostly related to her love life and her career. First, I will tell you a little about her struggles with anorexia and later about her troubled love life and then about the problems she faced in her career. When Naya was a sophomore, one day she decided to see how long she could go without eating, but that game soon went too far as she avoided eating food at all cost. And not only was she avoiding food, but she also was secretly jogging to burn off the few calories that she consumed. She couldn't even force herself to eat an apple. If her mom had packed a lunch for her, she'd either trash it or find some excuse to give it away. And at her worst, the 5'4 actress weighed at 98 pounds. But luckily, she found new friends and had no desire to be skin and bones anymore, so she started gaining weight and never looked back. Naya and her ex Ryan Dorsey started their relationship in 2010, but a few months after the premiere of Glee, they decided to split so that she could focus on her career more. A few weeks after that she found out that she was pregnant with his child, she decided that she was not ready to be a mom back then. In her 2016 memoir, Sorry Not Sorry, she wrote that she and her mom drove to Planned Parenthood in Pasadena, California, where they could be as far away from everyone as they knew as possible, and were extra cautious about wearing wigs, hoodies, and sunglasses. They paid cash, leaving no paper trail like it was a drug deal. Naya remembered that experience as one of the worst things she went through in her life. She wrote, It was incredibly painful. Your body is basically in labor with strong, frequent contractions. I was nauseous and kept going in and out of conscious because of the pain. When I got up to work the next day, a little more than 12 hours after having a medical abortion, I had to put my cheerleading uniform back on and hope that the skimpy bloomers covered the giant pad that I was wearing. But the feeling of motherhood and the child she had lost was still with her. That is why she became addicted to MTV's teen mom. She was jealous that those teenagers could keep their kids, but she couldn't. She didn't even tell her ex-partner about it and made the decision all by herself. After the horrible experience, Naya had to move on with her life, so she started dating her Glee co-star, Mark Salling. The two dated on and off for three years, but later, when he was out of town, Naya found out that he had cheated on her, and Salling told her that it would be better for his image if he pretended not to have had a girlfriend, and that is why Mark dumped her. Years later, in December of 2017, Mark was pleaded guilty to possession of child pornography involving a prepubescent minor. Based on a plea agreement in court documents, Sailing was going to spend four to seven years in jail with supervised release for 20 years if agreed upon by the judge. And according to the court order, Salling had been registered as a sex offender and had to pay restitution to each victim who requested it. He was supposed to stay at least 100 feet away from schoolyards, parks, public swimming pools, playgrounds, and video arcade venues. He was set for sentencing at the beginning of March, but at the age of 35, Mark Salling was found outside on Tuesday morning in the northeast San Fernando Valley. When Naya heard about this news, she wrote, When Mark dumped me, I thought it was the worst thing ever. But can you imagine if it didn't happen and I was laying there in bed when battering ram came through the door? I think everyone should have that one relationship where you look back and ask yourself, 
what the hell was I thinking? You'll learn something and you won't regret it. Unless, of course, that relationship was with someone who had a sizable stash of child porn on his computer. And then, by all means, regret everything. The next relationship Naya had was with rapper Big Sean. Their relationship started in April of 2013, and by October of the same year, the couple was engaged. They seemed very happy together, but Big Sean broke off the engagement in April of 2014. His rep made the statement, After careful thought and much consideration, Sean has made the difficult decision to call off the wedding. The recent rumors and accusations reported by so-called or fake sources are simply untrue. Sean wishes Naya nothing but the best, and it is still his hope that they can continue to work through their issues privately. But this was not the actual story. Naya confessed that she learned that her engagement has been called off through the internet. She said that the couple was fighting for five days straight while Sean was traveling, and then on the day he was back to LA, he said that he didn't want to meet Naya. She had the key to his house, so she went there and saw a little girl, as she called her, sitting on the couch listening to music. And that girl was Ariana Grande, who dated Big Sean for eight months. Just three months after her split from Big Sean, Rivera announced that she had married Ryan Dorsey, a small ceremony in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, on July 19th. The two were together before and after their breakup, and they still stayed friends, so when the split was announced, Dorsey reached out in support, and you know the rest of the story. This time around, she decided to tell him about the abortion she had in 2010, and apparently he was completely understanding. According to Naya, he said, In the short time that we dated, I wish I could have done something to make you feel like you could have trusted me with that information because I would have loved to have been there with you. That is the sweetest one thing that you can tell your partner. And after the couple got married in February of 2015, they announced that they were expecting a baby. So considering everything I have just told you about these two, you might think that they lived happily ever after, but her marriage with Ryan Dorsey did not last that long. Rivera filed for divorce two years after the couple wed in July of 2014, and this time, Naya was the one who announced the split. The statement was like this, After much consideration, we have made the decision to end our marriage. Our priority is and always will be our beautiful son that we share together. We will continue to be great co-parenting partners for him, and we ask for respect and privacy of our family during this difficult time. Not long after that, it was announced that Naya Rivera was arrested and charged with domestic battery after allegedly hitting her estranged husband, Ryan Dorsey. According to the criminal complaint, deputies were called to the home for a domestic situation and Ryan told them that his wife, Naya, had struck him in the head and the bottom lip while the two were taking their child for a walk down the street. Apparently, the couple was arguing over their child. Ryan even gave them a cell phone video that allegedly showed him being struck by Naya. And since Dorsey did not require any medical attention, a Kanawha County magistrate set her bond at $1,000 and she was released on a PR bond and her father-in-law picked her up from a court house. Naya's love life was not the only part of her life that had problems. She also faced some issues on the set of her famous show Glee with her co-star Leah Michelle. Apparently, Leah had a jealousy issue when Naya's character earned more screen time. And in her memoir, Rivera wrote that Leah had a hard time separating work from her outside friendship and she also wasn't taking criticism very well. Seemingly, she was blaming Naya for anything and everything that went wrong and assumed that she was bitching about her all the time. So things got so intense that Leah didn't say a word to her for all of season 6. I guess now this makes sense considering everything that has been revealed recently about the way Leah Michelle was treating her Glee co-stars. So she, Leah, even put a strain on Naya's relationship with Cory Monte. Naya and Cory were like siblings, which are a rare in the cast of her age. But apparently, when the two, Michelle and Cory, started dating in 2011, he started hanging out with the cast less than before and seemed like a different person. Naya revealed that one year he came back from the break between seasons super skinny, and he said that he had been spending a lot of time in the gym and was trying to be responsible, not spending money all the time and buying crazy cars like he used to. To Naya, his knowledge, Corey was super sober up through season 3, but then the gang went out to dinner to celebrate filming their last episode, and that was when he decided to order a cocktail. Naya said that Corey explained that he wanted to be able to drink in moderation, and that he could do it, and just be like everybody else. He seemed calm and confident about it, so they all just accepted it. But unfortunately, Monte died from a drug overdose in July of 2013. Honestly, I feel like the Glee cast is doomed. So many bad things are happening to them over the years. 
I just hope that what has just happened is not a drowning case and they find Naya alive. She needs to get back to her beautiful son. Let's just pray for her. So please tell me what you think about the missing case of Naya Rivera. Do you think the Glee cast is cursed? Let's talk about it in the comments and send your prayers to Naya and her family. Also, remember to like, share, and become part of our Curious Sips family by subscribing to our channel. Until next time, guys.